What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up? Hello. Hello. What's up, people? How are ya? This is why. This is why we are not allowed to make money. This is why it's impossible to figure out what the hell to do at this moment. This is why I've been telling you that you should be just taking a dirt nap right now. This is bullshit. Okay? The only reason that maybe I'll make some money today is because I was a stubborn douchebag yesterday buying the quid. I knew. Well, I didn't know because I don't know shit. But I knew that market wasn't done scaring people. Okay, we finally have some fear back in the market that we might have a sell-off. But yesterday, of course, we had to go up, try to make everybody feel better about themselves, try to make everybody think that, oh, that was a one-day wonder. And then we have a gap down. So all the trading I was doing intraday, I was looking to short some stocks, I was looking to maybe look for a pullback that never came yesterday. Absolute fucking bullshit, intraday nonsense, churning my account, ruining my ideas for the week. I said this was going to be a down week, and I should never even come back into the office. I should have held those quid. So I bought some quid yesterday, and I had to suffer through some pain. Now I'm profitable on them. Why? Because we're gapping down. These gaps are going to be the ruin of all day trading. The biggest move that you're going to have has already happened in cyberspace. So assuming, let's say I was thinking X was due for a pullback to, let's say, 40 but no, of course, it had to be rallying yesterday, and I was shorting into that, and I was losing money, and then suddenly we're gapping down a point. So any ideas that I had and any ideas that I wanted to do, shorting stocks, everything's down. I wanted to maybe buy some FAS, and that was going up in my face yesterday. Took some losses on that. That's gapped up a point. It's ridiculous. This is absolute travesty what they're doing right now to the market. Now, what are we going to do about it? What are we going to do about it? Right now, what I've been saying, what I thought was what was going to happen the summer, I thought we were going to go sideways. So this is what sideways looks like. We go up, the next day they gap it back down. The next day they gap it back up, the next day we gap it back down. What are you supposed to do? I'm back to just selling premium and hope that we go sideways. I'm selling calls and I'm selling puts on a range on the queues where I think we're going to end for the year. I've already given up on the year. I don't know, maybe we've seen the highs for the year. I'm hoping not because I still have some longs in, the, in another portfolio that I'd like to get out of. I have a lot of that... U.S. Steel stock, but I have some calls written against that. But again, I really like don't want to see the stock back in the 30s again. But I, I, you can't tell. There's no way to gauge what's going to happen. But what I can say is that when this market opens up today, fear is going to be back in the market. Oh, maybe this is it. Maybe this is the time that we start selling off and we actually have a three or four day, maybe a week long sell off and get everybody out. I am still mildly bullish. I still think the end of the year we're going to be a little bit higher from where we are today. But trying to do it on an intraday basis is just a nightmare. A nightmare. And I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to read a book and just see what happens. The only thing I'm happy about yesterday is I bought, I bought some. I was telling you, I was looking at some Q puts. I bought some October 36 puts on the Qs because I thought those were relatively fairly priced. We'll see how they open up. Chances are they're not going to open up that big. I mean, the Qs are only down 40 to 50 cents. But this is just this is just stupid already. I, I just want to just one day, can we just get a petition together that gapping should be not allowed? Let the market open up flat from the day before, and then let's do what we got to do. Give everybody the same opportunity to make money. This is bullshit. The only people that make money are the ones that are really gambling and betting on what's going to happen the next day. And hopefully you get the gap in the direction that you were betting. So you might as well go to Vegas. At least you get a lap dance. At least you get some free drinks with your gambling and have some good time. And some lady will come up to you pretending that she likes you and you have to figure out whether or not she's a hooker or not. Fun times. Fun times here on Wall Street, huh? This is great stuff. Well, 
All I know is if the if the quid breaks the high from where they were on Monday, I'm buying more quid, and I'm thinking they go back to 30. Maybe they might even end the week at 30. So take a look at the quid. I think the high was maybe 28. Oh, 05, I think it was. I'm not even looking at the charts right now. But whatever that price was, if it does break that price, I'm probably going to be piling in. Oh, you might not want to pile in on the short side when we're gapped down. You know what? I don't know. But the market might fade the other direction. If we're gapped down, normally we have a move up just to screw people, and then we start fading back off. So once we break those lows or break those highs, whatever the case, I'm going for it. Hopefully there's some momentum God damn it, can we have some momentum in one direction so I can make some money intraday and feel good about myself? Maybe get the idea that I could make money? I don't know. I don't know. But I think I'm just going to go back to uh, selling sneakers on the street, you know, or at flea markets. Maybe that's what I'll do. S taking sneakers on and off people's smelly ass feet. That's what maybe I'm destined to do. I don't have no idea. Bottom line is, this is just the most frustrating thing. The good feeling of my vacation has been fucking wiped away. The relaxation that I felt, gone. My kids are already bothering me in the middle of the night. Just, it's, uh, God. One time. One time, please. Could we have some sort of intraday move that's tradable. Not this choppy bullshit nonsense. All right, then. Well, if you haven't come to the chat room, you have to come to the chat room because I was telling you to short some stocks, and I don't know if you held on to them overnight. That's usually not our game here, but that's the only way to make money nowadays. So let's see what happens. I'm going to be having my finger on the trigger. I'm probably going to load up on those quid again if we start making that, uh, if we start selling off again. So QID, if you don't know, that's two times the NASDAQ short the Qs. That's the NASDAQ 100. If you think the NASDAQ's going down, QID is your best opportunity to make some money. All right, then. Have a nice day and be well. Don't churn your account. If you don't feel like trading, it's probably a good idea. And if you're going into the, uh, if you have the mentality that you're not going to make money, all the psychology books that I've read is that you're not going to make money. So I'm going in feeling really positive about today. I'm going to make money. I'm going to do everything right. This is awesome. And you are too. Have no fear. Just get in there and make some money, all right? Positive energy. Positive attitude. You stupid bastards. Come on. We can do this, and we can do this together. The meek shall inherit the earth.